Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Uh, we just got done unloading a short track, 30 foot, 30,000 pound gooseneck deck. I wanted to take you for a walk around this. We do a handful of these, a lot of guys don't see them. Uh, sometimes they're ordered for customers, other times they're here for stock and just aren't a lot of them in the marketplace. So, uh, you know, a lot of customers don't even know they're here. So I wanted to take a video, show you around them. Short track does a nice job on these. They're not, I'll say, the cheapest. They're not the most expensive. They're kind of somewhere in the middle price point wise. We keep uh, Lamar's in stock, which are usually a touch less. We have some Max D's in stock, which are usually a touch more. And uh, these hit a nice middle ground, very nice put together trailer. I want to show you some of the standard features that are on this that uh, may not even be on some of the other stuff we carry. Um, so again, take you for a walk around show you what's different this is a 25 plus 5 30 foot we also stock these in a 40 which would be a 35 plus 5. they're available in a straight deck with slide in ramps should you want to go that route as well so 30 k's of heavy you're going to get on a uh, 2 and 5 16 inch gooseneck ball if we go heavier than that it's got to be a 3 inch but this one here is a 2 and 5 16 sealed wiring harness in the neck it's got a standard 7 pin plug of course you've got your set bolts for your neck breakaway cable uh, you go to a higher test chain uh, on the 30 Ks, and you've got spot in the neck for holders. Of course, a lockable front toolbox. Uh, we've optioned in uh, two two speed 25 K uh, Yoast jack semi style. These are just a super nice uh, jack setup for a heavy duty application. You've got the big foot at the bottom, and it's two speed, basically pull in and out for high and low gear of course it's an i-beam neck you've got your doublers going from your vertical to horizontal and then your vertical out to your side rail uh, in the next spare tire mount it's a little heavier than the others because this takes a 17.5 uh, dually assembly and then you've also got a chain tray in the neck, which is also a winch mount plate. Notice it's got weep holes in the bottom as well. And you can put your winch inside there, or you can use the tube mount at the bottom. It's already got the roller fair lead mount up in the neck. Lots of tie downs on this. You've got full length rub rail, stake pockets, chain spools, and then you've also got eight heavy duty D-rings, four inch uh, on this so you've got your implements up front and then going down the sides but tons of tie downs uh heavy side rail this is of course channel not angle or anything lighter you can tell it's a pierce beam uh because you can see the top of the the i-beam there it gets your deck height down to about 32 inches uh, or lamar's which would be as i said earlier i'll say are slightly more economical not a lot cheaper but a little bit those are regular deck height we could pierce the lamar's but we try to keep our product a little different some folks that don't like pierced typically your equipment guys uh, are going to like it your uh, farm field guys uh, sometimes they like that little bit of extra deck height keeps them uh from you know clearing the back in and out of farm fields and that but for equipment a lot of guys like the pierce gets you down four inches uh going to 17.5 rubber on this also saves you a little bit about half to three quarters of an inch uh it's low pro rubber this is actually semi-style rubber instead of uh technically all you would need to have standard on this would be a 235 uh 14 ply 16 inch uh, which is a little bit taller rubber. So this actually is a lot heavier duty rubber, but also lowers that trailer down a little bit more. Uh, pierce beam, you're going to have tread plate over your fend wells. One of the ways you get down to that 32 inch deck height. This has your Dexter branded axles. It's also got the aluminum caps now, not the, uh, the old plastic caps give you a little bit better service life out of those when you go to the 17.5 rubber you also get about twice the tread depth that you would get on your smaller rubber like your uh, 10 plus so a lot uh, a lot heavier duty running gear let me jump underneath this and show you some of the other features so this has a 12 inch on center cross member typically in the industry you're going to see 16 that is three inch structural channel as well and they're formed Underneath, you're going to see cross track bracing. Some guys, what is that? You don't see cross track. Short track actually has done this for as long as we've been a partner with them. 
uh, works really well. It actually uses a touch less steel, but it's got more labor involved than say a torque tube. Uh, but it ties in a lot more places, which keeps it, uh, keeps it from flexing better than a uh, torque tube. You've got your outriggers every two cross members, so 24 inch on center on those as well. And again, you can see if you look close there at your pierced eye beam. Uh, side steps on both sides. Lots of little details on these. You can see your tiny little grippers on that. They actually work very well. Very nicely done. Moving back to the back of the trailer here. So 25 plus 5, 25 a flat, 5 foot dove. Uh, point this guy out too. 3 by 3 treads on the dovetail, not 2 by 2s as you would commonly see. Uh, at the back, you've got a tubular bumper. So all your wiring's enclosed, your lights, etc. It's all enclosed into that rear bumper. Of course, these ramps are double sprung, so they're sprung both ways. Fold over flat. This guy's going to weigh in at about 9,000 pounds, so a 30,000 pound trailer. And I just, I guess I should clarify this is a true 30K trailer. So two 15,000 pound axles equal 30. A lot of times you get folks that'll do a 16,000 pound axle and they'll call it as a 40,000 pound trailer, which is counting in 8,000 pound of tongue weight. The reality on this trailer, it's 30. It's gonna weigh about nine empty. So you're gonna have about 21,000 pounds of the trailer axles. Pin weight, depends how long the trailer is. Typically we estimate 22%. Longer trailers would actually be higher. But using 22%, uh, you're gonna be upward of 60, you know, we'll say 6,000 pounds for quick math. Uh, so you got 21 trailer, about six on the pin. It'd take you to about 27,000 pound legal payload. Just depends how you balance that weight out in your axles. A lot of these that say a 40K trailer, sounds like you're getting 10,000 pound more GVW, but the reality of it is not really. You're getting about 2,000 pound more. Uh, you get 2,000 pound more axles on it. So it's available in different colors. Should you like a color? We don't do too many in a pinnel, but if you want a pinnel, it is available in a pinnel as well. Typically most will go gooseneck. Not too many available options. There's a few that might be relevant. Spare tire, uh, you can get ratchet track if you want for uh, for four inch binders and whatnot. But most of what folks need is, is here. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a shout at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.